try to get out of the house pretty early. Um, for one, I don't like to be late to anything. And secondly, today's, today's a pretty busy day, so um, I have to run a few errands before I end up in the office. It's about, it's, it's not even eight o'clock yet. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the office. The big thing about scheduling though is honestly you have complete control over your schedule real estate is one of those careers that you don't you don't really have a boss I mean you're, you're, you're gonna have a broker but you don't really have a boss telling you be here go here do this do that and so it's it's really about how you want to make it and what you want to do but before I get too far I have to make just a little pit stop because I need some caffeine. That that didn't take too long. Keep it simple, in and out. I don't really drink coffee every day. Um, I drink coffees on the days that I'm up super early and I may have not gotten a lot of sleep at night. Um, I'm really good about just drinking like ice water when I wake up and it kind of gives me that kick, but coffee is definitely needed sometimes. Actually, I take that back. My bad. I... I do have a cup of coffee at least once a day, but it's not necessarily in the morning. that meeting out at the office right quick and now I am off to a um, like a like a breakfast for young entrepreneurs it's 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 a new thing but I am I became an ambassador for this organization and so I'm headed out to that right now oh my gosh traffic can be so annoying sometimes um, and it's like it just never ends no matter what time I come out I'm gonna be in traffic like, I, and, and I really just don't get it. I don't get it at all. Going to be at table number seven. Table seven. So you will be the mentor for table seven. Okay. Okay? Okay, that's it? That's Pretty it. simple? Okay, perfect. Yeah, so this event, it, it, it just popped up on my calendar. Uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, something new that our association is doing, our Realtor Association, just to kind of give back to newer realtors or people who need some mentorship or, or guidance. Um, they're taking some of us who have been in the business for a while and putting us all in a room um, and they have a speaker that comes out and there's this nice breakfast and we get to sit at the tables and have conversations with these people who um, are looking for mentorship or may have questions about best practices in real estate or you know how to do certain things and so it's, it's, it's a really good opportunity. I had a lot of fun doing that. I, I, I made some good connections. I got some cards. A lot of agents want to kind of meet outside of, of that setting so we'll, we'll just kind of see what we can do. So I have a showing. I'm about to meet my buyer's agent. Hey, what's going on? Hey, how's it going, man? Good. Uh, okay, so let's do that. So we're gonna we're gonna show probably like four properties right quick. Um, what's on the schedule for today. I normally kind of reserve my afternoons for, for like showing. So we're just waiting on the client to get here and um, she should be here any minute. When you're showing a property, it, 
I mean, you want to make sure that you know what you're showing or kind of have a general knowledge about the area that you're in and the actual property that you're in, and especially if it's like a condo, you want to um, know how condos work and know how the prices go in the building. You want to kind of get a general idea how the showing is going to go ahead of time because some condo communities are not in tall buildings like this to where you just get on an elevator and go. So you want to know where the unit is and how to get there and it just, it just really saves you from being embarrassed in front of your clients. So it makes you look like a better agent at the end of the day. So why not educate yourself on, on the condo community or whatever you're going to be showing, even if it's in just like a subdivision of full of homes or like a townhome community, know what goes on over there so you can speak intelligently to your client. I mean, that is the job of a real estate agent. So, so I, try to, I try to make sure that I freshen up at least like the day before I actually go out to show them. Um, I may dri drive by the property and preview it ahead of time so I know what's going on. Okay. Okay, perfect. business kind of taking breaks I mean during the day I'm kind of all over the place and I don't really get a lot of breaks um, even even taking a lunch is a little difficult for me but I will say that I do take holidays and and it's not hard to take a holiday you just got to make sure that everything is where it needs to be and your business is flowing um, you don't want to go on a holiday or go on a trip when you have a gazillion and one clients who need something for you from you and you don't have any support so yeah I mean you can you can always take breaks but kinda during the week I don't really get to take a lot of breaks I really appreciate you for watching hopefully you like this and you wanna click the thumbs up button below um, please subscribe because I'm going to be releasing more of these and y'all are my audience so I'm doing it for you. I want y'all to see what it's really like being a real estate agent. And so subscribe, leave me comments, feedback. If there's anything that you want to see or you want me to talk about, write it down there in the comments.